Spanish. Uh, there are 640 units, 20 buildings. Okay, that was my question. I wanted to know how long have you been a manager there? A year and two months. 14 months. Okay. That's my, my dad lives right down the road at the 18th Foley Library, about a minute down the road. And uh, he's getting older, and I was hoping to be closer to him. Um, and also, I wanted you know, a better opportunity, a bigger, a new place. Um, but, you know, my dad lives right down the road, so I wanted to kind of help him out. Okay. Thank you. One question. Sure, sir. What is the reason you are leaving Bay Colony? He kind of just got into that. The question is, why is he leaving Bay Colony? Yeah, the, the one main reason is because my father um, and this place is so close to him. Uh, but I'm very familiar with the area. I used to play golf at Inverary growing up. I was a junior member, but um, yeah, he lives right down the road. And uh, he's getting older, so you know I, I have to be there for him. My brother lives in Tampa, but um, this is a bigger place as well, and more opportunity, and that's what I'm, I'm looking for. Sir, I, I, we had to hear from. I mean, he's done most of the talking, and I understand some of the things he had to explain. But he was answering some of the questions you should have. I mean, what was up to me? You won't get the job because you. He didn't let you talk. <laughs> you're you're a client, you're a client, you're a client, but he did all the talking. Even then questions you could answer. He had answered some of them, but there were some questions you should have answered that he answered. He's doing a horrible job selling you. I would not <laughs> offer you because he can't sell you. Is there anything in particular you would like to know from me? <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, that, let's uh, see. Do we have any other questions from the audience? I'll finish up with the questions. Sure. sure. Okay. Well, okay, so you go ahead, and, and then if we have another question. Another big thing that I've accomplished at the community I'm at now is uh, electronic voting. A new law passed last year in July, allowing people to email their vote. Okay. And uh, so. So we actually started the electronic voting for our annual meeting early this year, and it's a new law. I don't know of any other manager that has even attempted this because of the layers that don't do it. It's too new. But um, not only did I attempt it, I was successful. And uh, we got a huge turnout of people voting electronically. There's people that live all over the world, and they can't get their vote in time because of the delay it takes when you mail it and then sending it back. A lot of, I've received a ton of votes coming in after the meeting. So we're really trying to pass an amendment, which we did the electronic voting for an amendment also. And uh, we're trying to change the docs. Uh -huh. and in 10 years, we, we couldn't change the docs because we couldn't get the votes. So I suggested maybe electronic voting. And I looked into it, I researched it, and I was able to do it. Um, that's another big accomplishment that I've done over at the Bay Colony Club. Um, just, just to, to go back to, um, since, since there was a comment that there's questions that you could have answered, uh, let me reframe one of the questions I asked then and, and have you take a stab at it. Specifically, like if something like this came across your desk with uh, the attorney uh, going back and forth with the unit owner because the, the um, payments aren't being posted to a ledger and then we're spending more money on attorney fees unnecessarily, how would you address that? Uh, specific issue, um, working with Campbell to address something like that so that we don't continue having this issue. Specifically, if the unit is in collections and there's an attorney involved who's generating fees and yet the, the, the check is being mailed instead of being deposited immediately uh, to avoid that kind of back and forth with the client, with the, uh, with the unit owner who's delinquent. I personally make all deposits to the bank, um, usually on a weekly basis if needed, but I personally drive to the bank and make all the deposits. Are you, are you saying that you, you personally make all the, you go to the bank personally in your current condo and you do that? Again, that's not gonna happen. There's an unfair If they don't mail it. He's gonna be your manager. Let it answer, let it answer. Let it answer. A lot of people mail it to the lockbox. A lot of people sign up for automatic pay, which I suggest. But when I first started there, the assistant did not let anybody give their payments to the office and I, and it was a huge inconvenience, and I said, I will take payment, and um, I, I do deposits as well. Uh, the bank is not far, and I you know, I do that as well. I, so we're gonna have to change our whole system again if he 
it becomes a commander. I adjust to the community. If you don't allow that, I will not do that. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. I have a question of you, sir. In your, do you have an opinion as to why it's important that a manager in a condo of this size have prior experience doing that? Sure, experience is always a terrific thing, and his question is, what, why does a manager for a condo this size need to have experience? Experience, certainly, if you've dealt with the situation before, you're better at it. Whether you failed the prior time, you know why you failed. And so the fact that he's dealt with 20 buildings and numerous different individuals okay. is going to be a huge uh, asset for the association. Yeah, Kelly, can you, can you stop for a minute? Because I think Marcio is, is uh, saying, let, let, let uh, Casey address it. He wants Casey. Yeah. CDA to address it. I'm sorry. He's asking. Exactly. Oh, you, oh, good. But job. Does Marcio know that he? I thought asked me to answer that. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I didn't realize that you were asking Kelly. I'm sorry. My, my second question is: Would it be advisable in a, con, a condo of this size to hire a manager who has no prior condo uh -huh. experience as a manager? Uh, okay. The first yeah. Time? I think I don't think that's a, that's a question specifically that addresses the qualifications. So that would be, I don't think that would necessarily be a question to the qualifications, which is what we're getting at. So it's not very it's more like a, like a quiz question, you know. That's, yeah. Anyway, yeah, um, that's just my feeling. Any other questions specifically to the qualifications? Uh, Lisa, did you just say, did you just finish? Um, yes, if I, went to, if I went to apply for a job and I, was, and I did not speak on my behalf, I would not, nobody should hire me. Thank you. So the fact that this guy is not okay. speaking on his behalf scares me. I can go more to my background uh, with my previous job, if that helps. I was a portfolio manager managing six different properties from North Miami Beach up to um, Boca. I had six different board of directors. Um, and it's, you know, it's a lot when you have six communities going on at one time. I honestly prefer being an on-site manager, studying everything about one community, <laughs> so I can know everything about it and not a little bit about a lot of things. I do prefer on-site managing, and, um, and I can really focus on the budget, on every little detail uh, for, for budgeting. I can do zero-based budgeting, looking at every single line item versus, I don't know, maybe a lot of managers do uh, historical base where they just go with the flow, go with, with, with what was last year and what was done last year, but I understand, you know, the need to save and I treat the budget like it's my own. I'm very frugal in life, so that will come to my work as well. And I will cut costs every single way that I can. It's something that's fun for me and Okay. Very good. But um, I just want I just want to point out that we the we as the residents have had to force this issue for you to speak. That's weird to me. Okay. okay. Um, but did anybody else? I'll, have, I'll ask uh, one more question for uh, CJ only. <laughs> Rabbit. Rabbit. Yes. Mike. Uh, yes, this is a, a, an old community. It's, you may well be aware of. And there are a lot of issues and uh, maintenance issues, uh, problems with buildings. Are you willing to come out of the office at a drop of a hat to address these issues? Uh, uh, we like to see our manager on site, not in the office. Are you willing? Yes, certainly. Um, I'm on property all the time. I, I couldn't stay in the office all day long anyway. I have a golf cart, so I'm able to go out and about, tour all 33 acres, so say where I'm at currently. Um, we just went through our 40-year inspection, so I'm, you know, uh, aware of old buildings. I know how they are. Um, also, I used to flip houses before I got into management, so I'm very aware of how, you know, things are done. And I had to do a lot of the work myself to, you know, to make a profit. So I had to learn it the hard way. So I do have knowledge in repairs as well. Uh, but certainly, I would love to be out and about. I can't be in the office all day. Um. I believe that was, a lot. was there any, any other question? Was yeah, there, oh, John. I'm sorry, Miriam Gordon has the last question. No, no, John, I want to, <laughs> you, do, you have, do you speak any other languages other than English? Not fluently, no. no. I've been to 20 countries, I know how to say a lot of words in a lot of different <laughs> languages, but only fluent in English. The last question, Miriam Gordon. I have, I have a question. Are you managing 
using any other property right now? So you're going to be on our property full, full time. And you're going to be outside on the property, not in the office. A lot of the time? Yeah. Are you going to listen to the owners that have issues, that have not ignoring our issues? I don't ignore issues. Um, I take care of every issue, whether, however, the ways I don't report it. I do not ignore issues. Uh, it's that pain. Are you going to be willing to listen to some of the owners that have condo, you know, uh, concerns? Certainly, certainly. It doesn't leave my inbox. It's just an email unless I'm Are you going to be on the property checking each building, what needs to be done, and why things are not being done? Certainly. I understand you have a big maintenance staff. I currently manage four maintenance gentlemen, uh, consist in the office, 24-hour security, cleaning people. Uh, I manage everybody. I'm out and about in the buildings and the tennis courts with the maintenance guy who goes with me. And um, we take care of problems right away, depending on the problem. Uh, the emergency determines that. But, uh, I just want to say one more thing that Campbell has quite a few, um, several owners had quite a few problems with Campbell um, before, and they're not listening to us. And people that have called your office have been hung up on. Is that what's going to happen here in our property with you as a property manager? I've never hung up on anybody. Uh, that, that is not me. It's not my personality. I would not do that. That's strange. Um, I believe that's the last question. So thank you, Kelly, and thank you, CJ Mosey, and thank you, Kelly, for being here today. Uh, appreciate it. Um, we, we will now discuss this as a board with none of the candidates present. Um, and then uh, we will inform you of our vote. I think I'll be the second. Thank you for allowing Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 He's saying no. I don't know if he's. Sorry? He said he's, he's, saying he's, saying no. said he's, he's not working. No. He said he's not. He's not working. working. He's not working. He's just. Uh, no, in between. With Campbell. In between. In between. No, no, no. Yeah. The question was, where is Gil working at? He asked. Okay. Yeah. So no, he's not working. That's. Yes. Why did you bring up your yourself? Okay. Um, now we have the discussion on the board portion. Um, does anybody want to start the discussion? Marcio, do you want? First of all, just listening to Kathy make the proposal that he just made, um, trying to incorporate the international village future employees into Campo, just just give me chills of thinking of AMG. I'll just address that because uh, it was actually something that yesterday um, Campbell asked me to meet with, uh, Kelly asked me to meet with him to go over the proposed contract that they would have for us if we were to hire uh, Kelly because as I said, it would be going, reverting back to the old contract and um, you originally came to me with a contract that stated that all new employees, whether maintenance, whatever, would be under Campbell. I said that that's a no-go. I, I do not believe that the board would agree to that. That's not what the old contract <coughs> said. So uh, he sent me a revised contract today, which is in our packets, that removed that, port, that, that language out of it. 
And right now the language is, and it was modified, it was changed, but uh, my request is that the office staff would remain the office staff, but if anybody in the office leaves, still it would be, the, the association would have the option, um, would have the ability to hire its own uh, employee, unless that the association w was using Campbell resources to uh, find, identify, you know, hire that person, then it would be a Campbell employee. But we, we wouldn't have to, because they, uh, they, they wanted to include that, I said no. And um, the contract as it reads now states that only if Campbell resources are utilized w in terms of advertising, whatever, um, identifying the replacement if somebody in the office, such as the receptionist were to move on or someone else in the office, then the, um, the association would be able to hire that person as long as Campbell resources aren't used. But if Campbell resources are used, then that employee would be a Campbell employee and the 25% uh, payroll burden would apply. That's the way I You're saying it's like a Trojan horse, basically, is what you're saying. You're saying that provision is like a Trojan horse. So in, the provision is basically, it states that um, the association may hire uh, replacements under the association um, anywhere, but if, it's, if, it hap if the vacancy occurs in the office and Campbell resources are utilized to hire somebody new in the office, whether it's receptionist or assistant manager, then that person would become a Campbell employee. That's the, that's the language, okay? So in other words, if we have the option to say, Campbell, go you know, to help us out, go, go hire someone, then it's their then employee. Then it's a Campbell employee. We take it upon ourselves. Right, so if we but I believe, and, and this, the language here, it only applies to the office. Right, but if we don't take them up on it, then it's ours. So if we, so the, Correct. If that language isn't there, so either way... What Marcy was saying is that um, he, he feels that automatically the management company would be the ones, or the manager would be the one to go out and... and well, it's uh, up to us to make sure that... that would right. Happen, Could you repeat that again? I didn't, I didn't, yeah. Say it again. Okay. My point is we have to hire a manager right now. Mm -hmm. How many managers do we have here that is not brought by Campbell? How, how many of the board members have come out to find managers? Exactly. You see, now right. you right. manager being presented by Campbell because it's convenient. We are all here. We don't have time to go do that. That's true. So, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, um, any other discussion on the board? Um, well, we still, uh, John, we still have time to look for more candidates, I mean, I think on our own. So you're saying, Lewis, that, uh, you're saying, Lewis, basically to leave things in, in place for a little while longer? In other words, like, um, you're saying, yeah. I'm not in the office much, so I don't know in terms of what's going on. Right. No, what I'm saying, Marcy, is that I don't know what the status, what, what the workload is right now for, for uh, social and Brittany, if it's overwhelming because there's no manager. Um, I don't know what's going on in the office right because I'm never here. Uh, what, was the, what, was yeah. nature, what was the nature of the, the contract, if you remember offhand, when we initially had hired uh, Campbell and David, if you recall? What was what? What was the nature of the contract? When we the nature of the contract the then was that it was uh, basically the only person that was designated in that contract as being a Campbell employee was the manager position. 
Right. Nobody else. So, so, like, so that meant anyone that we hired, we had to do the hire. They didn't volunteer. Um, I well, that never happened while while they were manager. Um, so then why are we worried about hiring now? Because yeah. it's in the contract that if Campbell resources are utilized. But but the thing is, is that it never happened in the office. It may have happened somewhere else, like security, which I would have ha would have handled, or maintenance, which George would have handled. Uh, but it never happened in the office. So, so why not let's keep it the way it was in the initial retirement? We'd have to make a motion then to to change that back to how whatever the language was before, and I probably have that contract somewhere in my records. Right, we obviously all Marcio agreed on it. You agreed on it. I agreed on it. Okay, um, so so Marcio, do you have a motion? Do you want to make a motion to change it, or, or what do you what do you want to do at this point? Next, next, uh, next month. 
next month. So, in other words, um, I'm not sure if we would need a motion to because essentially she's currently the acting manager. Um, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Louis and Marcia, I think you're talking at the same time. Marcia, can you go first? Marcia, could you well, go first? I don't think, I don't think that's uh, allowed because unless you No, no, no. Um, and I think that the whole compensation question would be something that I would address in a closed meeting, not, not right now anyway. Um, that, well, yeah, that would be better. Um, so I, I guess your motion is, again, restated, hire social temporarily as manager for one for a period of one month and then um, have this item come back to us in one month? Is that what you're saying? I, I would like to make a motion to hire social as the manager. Of course. If you guys like not to, then I'll make another motion to hire him temporarily. Okay. Then I'll have to um, What happened? Go ahead, Lou. What happened is if we find someone, then how are you going to explain the social? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, we're going to lose. Well, like, that's like using that. Or you have it on your mobile. If she's doing a good job, that's what you're thinking about. She's got it. Did they leave any cake? That's what I'm saying. I think they leave any cake. 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 Um, oh, you were saying, okay, so you were saying the table, but, but okay, oh, well, well, you, you want to give her that one month, so you don't need to hire for a month, hire for a month, so just, just delay this issue for a month, not tabling, and give her, give her a chance to improve, which, why not? I, I believe she deserved that. So, we, and, and we come back and send me issue in a month. So that's a different Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no higher. No higher. We don't need the higher. But she's already, yeah. So yeah, she's doing it. I mean, literally. Keep it, keep it a status quo and basically reconvene in a month. Yeah, yeah.